For this video, we are going to discuss the liability of a person who uses an imitation firearm in the commission of a crime. To help us understand this, we have to refer to sections 3Q, 29, and 35 of RA 10591. The first question to ask is, what is an imitation firearm? An imitation firearm refers to a replica of a firearm or other device that is so substantially similar in coloration and overall appearance to an existing firearm as to lead a reasonable person to believe that such imitation firearm is a real firearm. To be an imitation firearm, it must be number one, substantially similar in coloration and number two, substantially similar in its overall appearance. Having the same internal mechanism with that of a real firearm is not required. What makes it an imitation firearm is its external appearance. Question, is a Paltic revolver an imitation firearm? The answer is no. It is a real firearm but one that is illegally manufactured. Examples of imitation firearms are toy gun replicas and airsoft guns used in competitions and also for recreation. Now, what is the liability of a person who uses an imitation firearm in the commission of a crime? An imitation firearm used in the commission of a crime shall be considered a real firearm as defined in this act and the person who committed the crime shall be punished in accordance with this act. I am referring to section 35 of RA 10591. Provided that injuries caused on the occasion of the conduct of competitions, sports, games, or any recreation activities involving imitation firearms shall not be punishable under this act. Now, before I proceed, let me clarify that mere ownership or possession of an imitation firearm does not make a person criminally liable under RA 10591. What makes it criminally liable is when the person uses such imitation firearm in the commission of a crime. This means that in order for a person to be held criminally liable, there must first be an imitation firearm. And second, that person uses the imitation firearm in committing a crime, either under the revised penal code or under a special penal law. And third, such imitation firearm will then be considered as a loose firearm under Section 29 of RA 10591. And if such imitation firearm is used in the commission of a crime, it will be considered as either an aggravating circumstance when its use is inherent in the commission of the crime, or it will just be absorbed as an element of rebellion, insurrection, or attempted coup d'etat when its use is in furtherance of or incident to or in connection with the said crimes. For example, X used an imitation firearm to intimidate and rob the passengers inside the jeepney. Here, X will be liable for the crime of robbery with intimidation of persons under Article 294 of the Revised Penal Code. But since he used an imitation firearm in the commission of the crime of robbery, such imitation firearm will then be considered as a real firearm. And since it is considered as a real firearm, it will further be considered as a loose firearm under Section 29 of RA 10591. And by express provision of Section 29, 
Whenever a person uses a loose firearm in the commission of a crime, his use thereof will be considered as an aggravating circumstance in the actual crime committed. Hence, in this example, X who used an imitation firearm in committing the crime of robbery will be held liable for robbery with intimidation of persons aggravated by the use of an imitation or a loose firearm. Another example, X accompanied about 100 NPA combatants in raiding a police station. X, however, used an imitation firearm during such raid. Question, will he be liable for the crime of rebellion considering that one of the elements of rebellion is that a person must take arms against the government? The answer is yes because such imitation firearm will be considered as a loose firearm under Section 35 in relation to Section 29 of RA 10591. In both of the above examples, however, there will be no separate charge for illegal possession of a firearm. What about injuries caused on the occasion of the conduct of competitions, sports, games, or any recreation activities involving imitation firearms? Will the person who caused such injury be liable? The answer is no. By express provision of Section 35 of RA 10591.